Okay, guys. This is George. We're taking a quick look at him. He's 22 foot long. He's a 1976 Prowler Bicentennial Edition. Um, he's in pretty good shape. He had some roof leaks. I took the liberty of repairing the roof leaks, and I repaired some ceiling joists on the inside. Um, the back bathroom's going to need some work because that's where the leak was. Most of the front and the other sections are in good shape. This is loose back here. I tighten this back up. Full disclosure, I don't, uh, I don't hide anything on my campers. This one's in good shape. It will need tires. I have the original hubcaps. They're not on there because it needs tires. I went ahead and repainted that vent and got it put back on. Now I sealed off the two vents that were there and uh, I put the first coat on all of those. This camper will need the uh, second coat on the roof, but that's easy cheesy if you do it right away. Um, like I said, it's got some water damage on the inside. Somebody took the the vent cover off and they ran their TV line up through here. Well, when they did that, I just put this piece up here to hold this together. Um, when they did that, it allowed water to run in behind. So we have some water damage here. The floors aren't too bad. I think that you could do a repair here in the corner and be in good shape. You can see that it had water damage. I put some slats to hold the ceiling up. Um, none of the rafters are broke that I can see. Uh, the jack sunk down into the ground and it got water damage up here in the front corner. It has all the original textiles, the Liberty Bell and all of that, which is why I named it George. This actually folds down. If I recollect, nope, this one, it's the other one. The cabinets are all in good shape. Um, you can see it had some water damage behind there. Don't be afraid to open the cabinets when you guys look at these things. You can see that it got wet here in the back. But it's currently not leaking. Um, I was told the refrigerator worked. I haven't verified it because it's got one of those uh, weird uh, three-prong plugs that go on it. Countertop edging needs some work. All the countertops are in nice shape. The appliances are all in nice shape. The floor is actually all original and in pretty decent shape. Pay no attention to the tools. Um, got nice closet space. Got the dressers back here with the little countertop. You can look up into the cabinets here and see there was no water damage up in any of these. So that's a good sign. This this is the one that, I, that folds down into a bed. Um, when we're traveling with these, a, a lot of people leave these top bunks down when we're traveling. They should be folded up because they're part of the structure. This one actually has the cushions and everything inside of it. But note to self on a side note, when you guys are traveling with these things that have these fold down bunks, those are supposed to be in the up position, not in the down position. I mean, you can't do it. Look at that headboard. Now I went in the bathroom here and I removed the ceiling. We had a really, really bad leak in this back vent, which means you can see daylight right there. That means this back corner is separated. I left all this together. I did not take this apart for traveling. I sistered on to these two joists right here, picked them back up. They're laying on top of the wall, which is reasonably solid on the outside. And then I put this piece of plywood here. The reason I did all of that is because when this is going up the road, and the other thing is if a person doesn't get to this until the spring and it's sitting outside, I don't want the snow load back on top of the, uh, on top of the roof. So yeah, this is George. He comes with a bill of sale. I'm working on getting a title for him and he's going to be $3,000. Um, if you have any questions on George, just give a call. And this is always, always located in Leland, Illinois. I hope this finds you well. God bless one and all.